Right, so we're now at the position to do an isometric drawing of our, um, our ideas for the um, passive amplifier. So we're going to do this, um, I'm going to imagine this one is going to be um, made of a sandwich of these three blocks. This first block will have a, a hole cut in it and the second block will have a slot cut for the phone and um, a channel in the wood to that hole and the one behind will have nothing. So it'll be a sandwich, something like that. Now I wanna, what you want to do is to show that so that your drawing explains exactly how it goes together. And we can do that by drawing an exploded isometric view. So to help you, we've got these grid sheets. These lines are at the isometric angles. They're vertical, 30 degrees one way and 30 degrees another way. And those will guide your pencil. It only works this way around. The word top has got to be at the top, so slide that under your page, like that. And you can just about see the lines through the paper. The first thing we do, we're going to start off uh, at the bottom of the page, and I'm going to do the same sort of uh, arrowhead shape that we started with before lines are going to be quite faint. Yours will be fainter than mine are here. So that's our, our beginning. And then we put on the rest of the large crate that the uh, drawing will be completed within. Don't worry about the length of the lines. You will be doing yours much fainter. Uh, that'll do for now. So I'm going to put in the first block. Like that. Then we'll leave a space and put in the middle part of the sandwich. You don't have to draw on those lines, the grid lines, so long as your lines are parallel to them. And don't forget the bit about turning the paper to make it easier to draw. And as I said in the last video, your arm, your elbow must be resting on the table. And at the back, we've got the last one. That's a bit longer, a bit wider, so I'll draw that slightly differently. seen, I'll put that in because I need to know where the bottom edge is going to come over here. And that's got the corner sort of cut off from about there somewhere. Right, that's the basic shape. Yours will be a lot fainter than that. Your crating lines will be a lot fainter. So let's put on where the phone is going to go. So that's going to drop in there. Now this is the sort of detail that you must show because the idea is that you look at the drawing and someone who knows their stuff will be able to work out exactly how it's going to be made or be able to understand, should I say, that you know how it's going to be made. This is communicating your idea. Now we're going to have a circle in the front. Now to draw a circle in isometric what you do is you draw a square where the length of the side of the square is equal to the diameter of the circle. You then mark a point midway across each, on each, along each one of those lines and you're going to draw two arcs, one there, one there, they'll be the same, one there, one there. So here we go. Turn it round. Don't need that for a minute. Then 
here is the tighter arc. There. Now, on the back, there will be another um, series of points that you'll need to join. That you'll need to draw. So here, check the back of that circle. So that's the circle through which the sound will come. So what you need now is a groove or a channel in the middle part of the sandwich so that you have connection between the uh, slot where the phone fits and the back of that. So you can just have a look and see where that comes. It's going to be on there somewhere. So we need a connection between up there, so if the phone speaker is there, should we say, as it probably is on your iPhone. So we then cut something like that. Okay, so what we need to do now is bring that drawing to life. Now, you will have done that much, much fainter. But if I do that now, you won't better see it on the video. So what I'm going to use <coughs> is a, a pen to go around the outline there. You will be using a, a pencil by a pushing harder, pressing harder. So, now I'm not rubbing anything out. I'm not using a ruler. I'm just going to go over the lines that I want the viewer to see much harder. But as I say, in this case, I'm using a pen. You don't really need a grid sheet underneath it now because uh, you already know where the lines are. As I said before, you would be using a pencil for this, but you'd be pushing a bit harder than you would have done when you did the guidelines, the crate lines. Okay. Now from that drawing, anybody looking at that will be able to see exactly how you propose to put your project together. And you can label it, 